Saturday. This is its 18th year. It started, it was an idea from a parent who wanted to bring more science to the lower school. The lower school fam uh, faculty and families are invited um, to spend some time thinking about and being and practicing their science skills. That counts. Well, that's impressive. That's what that counts. So today we're doing a uh, birds of prey activity. Something happened to this bird's eye. Our, our two year old's extremely small, so we were going to bring a shirt that said not prey. We're doing a coding in, in the lab. Yeah. Well, it's already set in there, right? It's so much fun to see when the kids come in here. Sometimes they're intimidated in terms of programming, and I try to encourage them and tell them, there's nothing you can do wrong here. Here is how you want to do it. So I encourage them to think that way. Don't think that you're doing anything wrong. It's whatever you choose to do is correct. And then we're also doing a making activity. Uh, this is the maker space and they're going to try and stack, um, it looks like applesauce cups and popsicle sticks. In the, in the fall we usually try to do one at Duxbury Beach. The kids collect different species and get to, a chance to see the diversity of the habitat. Our kids still remember there was an egg drop that they did at the upper school with, I guess they were sophomores and juniors that loved physics and so they paired upper school kids with our kids at the time were in first and second grade and they designed ways to keep eggs stable and then they went to the top of the upper school and dropped them off. I feel like the real benefit of it is the community aspect for parents and kids to be learning together even if it means coming to school on a Saturday. It's a great coming together of families and teachers, new ideas and creativity. We really value science, so any opportunity to introduce it into our daughters' lives is something that we seek out.